and three in one night. That's crazy. Are you familiar with um Freaknet, guys? Hmm. Yeah. No. Y'all not familiar? With Freaknet was a festival, a black festival back in the day, back in the nineties, man. Um. We all have feelings, and we all are affected. You in front of the camera, and you're taking pictures. It, it brings on a fun things. We all have feelings, and we all are affectionate people. We are people. We are human beings, and and we're gonna get these feelings, and these emotions are gonna get to flying high. Yo, girls out here, they just letting us cry. I'm tired. Yo, this is heaven, son. This is heaven. This is heaven. <laughs> So yeah, it was a good fun. I never went to it. Um, but I it was I remember every year Freak Nick was a big thing in Atlanta um back in the day. So now they're doing a um documentary on it. Um, At least there were some couples back then. <laughs> you know, they're doing a documentary on it because um, uh, all the um, you got this guy um, is all the um, you know, it's just time like they did Lollapalooza. I think they did a documentary on Woodstock. You know, it's it's kind of like a black Lollapalooza or a black Woodstock type thing. And that women will so, be. Uh, so I like, have a question. Yeah. Have you heard uh, Nick Rakita's take on uh, twerking? No, I don't. I I I don't even know who Nick Rakita is. But uh, Nick Rakita is a, a law YouTuber, but okay. he says that uh, twerking was invented by black people so they could perpetuate the myth that all black people can dance. Mm, I don't know. I mean, twerking didn't get become popular again until um, Miley Cyrus did it. And then all the black women said she was culturally appropriating. And then ever since then, black women been twerking everywhere. I blame Miley Cyrus for this shit. A lot of noise is being made about this Freak Nick documentary. A whole bunch of people talking about whose names and faces and voices and bodies are going to show up on this video from the 90s. And most of the conversation is about whether or not women will be exposed on this documentary, whether people's mamas and girlfriends and wives and daughters are going to show up in a Freak Nick documentary. And I hear you. But that's the wrong issue. Look, I was outside in the 90s. I've been to Freaknik as an aspiring young journalist covering the story, of course. And when I was there, I saw what was happening. It's not just about women being half naked. It's not about women's hypersexuality. No, Freaknik is about men ogling, men fondling. Freaknik had a lot to do with male hypermasculinity and sexual violence. Freaknik is a rape Fest. It is a sexual assault fest. That's not the only thing going on out there. I'm not trying to demonize or pathologize black people. But if we're talking about the worst parts of Freaknik, it wasn't about the actions of women. It was about the dis the disgusting actions of us men. And so when you watch Freaknik, you don't need to be worried about mama, daughter, sister, girlfriend. You need to be worried about brother, son, husband, or yourself and whether or not you were engaged in some of the worst parts of patriarchal culture, whether you were part of the worst parts of rape culture and misogyny and sexual violence. When we talk about Freaknik and the way we, and the way we talk about Freaknik, it's a oh, representation of all the problems we have in a society that always blames women for the actions of men. So don't Man, it's, I, I, I'm now. I'm sorry, I missed it. Yeah, I mean, it's like girls going wild with a black twist. Um, so here's the thing. Look at this, though, guys. So black people are mad. They're, 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 a lot of black people are mad now because documentaries coming out, and people are older, and they got kids, and they've moved on in their life. Because there's a lot of college students down there too, so a lot of people went on to have you know careers and whatnot. Um, so now, blame white as as always. It's time to blame white people. Um, Hulu Originals Doc Division is run by Senior Vice President of Documentaries and Unscripted Series, Belisa Balban and documentaries VP 
Beth Asisek. These two suspected racist whites, white supremacists, ultimately gave the green light for the Freaknik documentary. See who they are connected to. So you you gliders are taking the blame, man. So y'all got to take it on the chin, man. So, yeah, I know, I know it's our shocked. fault. I know it's, it's always right. our fault. I know you're shocked, but um, you gliders got to take this on the chin, man. This is this is y'all. Y'all have done this. Um, this is y'all fault. Salute to um Cornelius, man. My man Cornelius B, man. He says so. DJ Academics is the new face of white supremacy. <laughs> Oh shit, man! That's hysterical, man. Um, From the looks, of the, looks of these two, it looks like Becky's having the last laugh too, man. Yeah, I think these these two have moved. Ark Ark was the face of white supremacy for five minutes to these two. So the Freaknik documentary is 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 now think about it. What if the people who wanted to do the Freaknik documentary went to these good old white people and said, "Hey, man." Um, we don't have no ch no channels of our own, man. Oprah won't do it. Tyler Perry won't do it. Um, can you go white people do this? And they were like, hell no, nah, man. What freak Nick? What the hell is freak Nick? Uh, nah, we don't have um, money in our budget for that. The same thing would have happened. Black people got a line. We went to Hulu to try to get them to do a Freaknik documentary. They told us they couldn't do it. But they, we looked last year, they did a Woodstock documentary, and they did a documentary on Lollapalooza, but they wouldn't do a Freaknik. There's no winning, Glider. Stay the fuck away from these people. Stay the fuck away from these people, man. I don't know how many times I got to tell you. I think it's like y'all are like fucking, um, I don't know what it is, it's like um, a bottleneck and like that effect when you um, when you see a car accident or train wreck or something, you just want to, you know what I'm saying? Stay the fuck away from these people. They're blaming, because there's a whole lot of fucking consternation in the black community about this um, documentary coming out. And... Black men are going to look bad like rapists and black women are going to look like promiscuous hoes when all the footage comes out. And, you know. Both of these glider men, women have uh, histories in Hollywood. You think they aren't liberal? Yeah. Yikes. Yeah, I think that's the, you can't put that on YouTube, man. Yikes. Jeez. There it is. Pursue through a public parking lot. They're running after some women? We do not know their identity, so we cannot tell you their feelings at this moment, how trapped they may or may not have felt. But for all they endured, it appears their flight from the crowd may not have been as rough as what another woman nearby encounter try to follow the struggling figure through the crowd try to imagine her feelings again all we know about the incident is what we can see but at least one official apparently didn't like what he saw it's clear that she's fighting back it's clear that she's being assaulted we showed our tape of what we witnessed around south the cab mall there was a sexual offense by that young man with the white sleeveless t-shirt. He needs to be in jail. To DeKalb County Public Safety Director Thomas Brown. Amazing. There were an awful lot of women out there that were innocent victims to a group of men acting like a pack of wolves. I'm very disappointed, not only as a man, but as a black man, in terms of watching my young brothers uh, act this way and treat them. <laughs> He's disappointed. I mean, listen, man. I there were a bunch of women acting like exactly bitches in heat, too. Exactly. I'm going to give these guys a break, man. I'm not going to come down on these guys like this. These are college-age men. And it's fucking girls walking around in fucking mini skirts and booty shorts, letting people feel on their asses. And it's, 
These guys are in heat. These guys are fucking. Look at Kanye. Kanye was down there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on, man. If that's what was going on, man, come on, man. Those guys are that was twerking those, there too. Yeah, those are men. Those are these are college age men. These are fucking fighting age men, full of cum. It's girls. Everybody's copping fields. Girls are just letting you cop fields. It's going to get out of this liquor, this weed. It's going to get out of hand, man. Come on, man. That was twerking before twerking was invented as far as a term. Yeah. Actually, twerking was a term back then. Um, it just wasn't uh, mainstream. It was a term. I'm Artelia. That's Brandy over there. Brandy. Brandy. We from Indianapolis. Clown Indianapolis. All right. We're New York representing on this side. All right. All right. What's your name? Tori. What's up, Tori? What's up? Have fun, y'all. Be safe. All right. You too. <laughs> Think about it. it was no camera phones back then. That fucking um, video recorder that they're recording this shit with, that shit is as big as a fucking trunk or a fucking goddamn piece of luggage. And it's mounted on a pole, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like carrying VCR all day. Yeah, it's, it's no, it was no fucking camera phone. It, it, look at this shit. The women are just... There were, there were camcorders that were about the size of a... Uh... You know, a small loaf of bread. Yeah. A half loaf. You, yeah, the, the, even those, this is, that was 95. I think it came along a little later. 97 right there. Yeah, yeah, this is how they look. This is how the camcorders look. Yeah. Back in those days, man. Yep. I took a lot of footage on camcorders back in those days. I just didn't, um, I, I was never a freak in it. Well, you see has a, a new uh, one, though, uh, that's half the size of the, of the, the one that the woman has. Yeah. You see on, on that guy's left arm, you see he has the brand from a fraternity. Yeah, he's a, he's a, um, he's a, he's a major. Yeah, he looked like he, he's, wear, he's, he's wearing the, the uniform of 94. Huh? The whole, that, whole, out, that whole outfit. That's that's that just that just screams 1994. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, my wife beat her, her jeans. Her outfit screams 94. Ready is that you can't have fun, but it's also dangerous. Um, as far as you getting assaulted or bad things happening to you. Last year at Freak Nick, you know, I saw a girl hanging out her uh, car, and some guys wanted her to do something. And uh, next thing I know, I seen a bottle fly and hit her in the head, and then some guy went and stole on her. And I kind of that kind of hit me in my heart because I didn't know why he did that. You know, it was just a terrible situation. He just hit her blood. Okay, I need a translator. What does "stole on her" mean? Stealing. When you get steal, that's get punched in your face. When you get steal, like if I steal you, it's like it's like a sucker punch, I guess. What you would call it? Yeah, it's getting punched in the face. Yeah, steal the shit out your ass. What's going on, fellas? <laughs> What's happening, man? What's cropping? Ain't nothing, man. And I was still kind of confused. You ever, you ever been a freak, Nick? Nah, but my boy did. He got a girl pregnant. I'm um, from Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> did she have a baby? Yeah. Yeah, my man. Cool, cool dude. He's from Atlanta, but she's from out here. From uh, Massachusetts. He had a baby with her and shit. So what she had really did... To, to anybody to, 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 you know, get that type of punishment, you know? It could be anybody, you know what I'm saying? You get, you're at the wrong that place is at the wrong crazy. time. That is crazy. You know? Yeah, I mean, anybody, it could be anybody, local. That local, is local, son. Local. Yeah, it's, 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 it's girls going wild meets boys in the hood, man. Yeah, but it's oh. not, I mean, I've been in situations where there have been lots, you know, I, I just, I've never seen anything like this go on, ever, in person. I remember this video back in, it's like an old video. I remember this video back in the day. Like, we, 
Yeah, this is this is this is footage from back in the day. Um, for this is all if you if, if you can tell me. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's not, not, no, not no rapist. Shirt off. Nobody get raped. But you were saying, yeah, I, I, wanted see you, I, I saw what I wanted to see. Right. I saw what I wanted to see. 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 Women down here that dress like hoes and with the short stuff and all that. You know, I feel like they don't, yeah, they don't have any respect for themselves. They want that attention. They like that negative attention, and that is not cool. I'm sorry. If you got a mind, you got a brain, you're intelligent, you need to act that way and dress that way. Ain't nothing wrong with having a little fun, coming down the street, thinking all that stuff. But you ain't got to be acting all with your clothes, showing your butt and all that stuff. That's but, not but, but, cool. But, but, yeah, at the freak, they, they, they ripping their clothes off, calling bitches and hoes. I don't think that's, you should, you should do that to a sister. Most of yeah, I'm saying that. What I'm saying no, no. about that is like, y'all saw what I had on when y'all first met me. Yeah. yeah. I had on a little shorter, yeah, but that didn't mean shit. I was less intelligent. Yeah. That didn't mean I was asking you to grab my ass. Yeah. If I was walking yeah. around, you know, and I oh, bent over, yeah. and, you know yeah. what I'm saying? If you were dressing appropriately, sharks, I don't care how much intelligence you got, I don't see intelligence. I see your naked flesh. Now, I would not grab your body, but there are people that will. They will, right. So, you should dress appropriately. So? I was in that statement because, you know, that just means I had a little shirt on, I had a little shorts on, I got it, I can flown it. It's a party atmosphere. It's kind of like being at a ball game. Once everything gets going, you walk around naked and you get grabbed. Don't come crying at the end and say, oh, well, I didn't know I was going to get. Yeah, I mean, I agree with this guy, man. Like, you, if you get grabbed, you should just go grow with it because you out there with all these dude, these are sun men like in the heat. Yeah, not get a like, buck type nigga. Yeah, like what the fuck you think gonna happen? It's called freak nick. Everybody the agreement is we gonna go down to Atlanta and we gonna wild out. All like I told you when I was in elementary school at Jesse LaSalle. Uh, in Northeast Washington, D.C., every Friday we had something called Freaky Friday. As recess, we would go feel on girls' butts. And they would run, and we would go grab their little butts, and that would feel so good. That was the best thing in the world. That was like sex. Feeling on a girl's butt was like sex when you're in the first grade or second grade. It, and it was called Freaky Friday. Every Friday we would do that shit. Let loose. Or or, or those little dances in elementary school or middle school where they have little dances and shit. Yeah, black folk dances ain't like the the white people dances. They waltzing and doing all this and, <laughs> and, and holding hands and doing. We we was well, bumping and grinding. I'm talking about ass and, and, and going down shorts. there and going and down it. there and wearing uh, short shorts and dancing and shaking your hips and shaking your butt. That's like waving a flag in front of a bull. You know they're going to charge. You're trying yeah. to get them to charge. Yeah. We, so we, if they charge, what what are you going to do? You're going to take it. Black community parties is is like just basically simulated sex, man. Hell yeah, Yo, bro! I swear to God, you know, I swear to God, I used to like just wait for those school dances to come, like just to like get to feel on the chick or some shit. Like, oh yeah. man, it's about to go down on some real shit. A girl be grinding on you, and then when your shit get hard, she look at her friends and <laughs> smile and shit. Real shit. Real and it's shit. like you just like sitting there and just oh, feeling so good. Oh my god, it feels so good. Go home with blue balls and shit. That shit. Yeah, man, it was just simulated sex, man. Oh, I didn't know I was going to get funny. You can't say that because the sister's walking around down here showing a lot of her body that she is asking to be raped. That is that, that is just her saying that she is showing her body. She is a beautiful black woman who is taking pride in herself. She has it so she can show it. The bottom line is when females come out here half-dressed, half-naked, they're asking for negative attention. Let's look at our ancestors. Man. We walk around in Africa naked. <laughs> 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 you, know, like, you know, you know what? You know what? This proves that the Saudis are right. The Saudis are right. The Taliban's right. Yeah, man. The same you know, man they, had it right all along. Yeah, they got it right. He sounded like Dollar Bill from the Players Club. Bucket naked. <laughs> <laughs> Salute to uh, Deluxe247, a.k.a. Cal Ripken, a.k.a. The Real MVP, coming through once again. 
Yeah, this this some man right here, man. He know the deal, man. He knew the deal, man. He he understood. He understand what's going on out here, man. That's why, that's why all those squatters are still. Let's look at our ancestors. Yeah, so we walked around in Africa naked. And our brothers and our sisters, my brothers was not raping our sisters in Africa. You know what I'm saying? No, majority of them, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got Hold on. What? Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on. What? 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 <laughs> What 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 do you say? Maybe we gotta start doing um Negroes from Negro Land again, man. He say, <laughs> <laughs> he says, what the fuck did he just say? Dress half naked. They're asking for negative attention. Let's look at our ancestors. Hey, man, we walked around in Africa naked. And our brothers and our sisters, my brothers was not raping our sisters in Africa. You know what I'm saying? No, majority of them, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to respect our, our black sisters, yo. You know what I'm saying? These are our sisters no matter what. You know what I'm saying? You take one of the bitches in the hoes, yo. It's your sister, yo. God. If you were so fucking, they were we were annoying back then, man. God damn, we we're, we're like no, we're like um, <laughs> we never were not annoying. We're exhausted, man. Oh, what? <laughs> Oh. Wow. Salute to um salute to Freak Me. Man, I don't have a problem with those guys acting like that, man. Those guys, it's an agreement. We are gonna go down to Atlanta and act and act 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 up. And if you as a woman and you come down there, you know the fucking deal, man. I'm not saying you should get raped, but I'm going to grab your ass. If I see you walk past me, I'm grabbing your ass if I like it. Because that's the agreement. It's called fucking freak nick. Don't come down here trying to act like you somebody assaulted you because a dude that you, no, that that you didn't think was cute grabbed your ass. That's like spring break or girls gone wild. I mean, yeah, man, like, you know the don't, deal. Don't come, don't come down there back trying to act like Eleanor Roosevelt or something like that. Exactly, man. You already know the deal, man. We, we it, it would be one thing if it was just like fucking homecoming or some shit. Like, yeah, okay, homecoming. Yeah, this is freak Nick, bitch. You getting, <laughs> your, you getting your ass grabbed and smacked and your titties felt up on if you come around because that's what it is. Yeah. You know what it is. Um, <laughs> but these, it's sad to see that these white women are going to catch the blame for it, man. Because son sisters are, are shaking in their boots about being seen <laughs> on these um, videos. They don't know what footage is going to be used in the documentary. And son men are shaking in their boots. Because well, also, Charles guess, guess <laughs> what? Guess here's the really, here's the really bad news. They've dropped the uh, statute of limitations in a lot of uh, in a lot of jurisdictions on rape. Yeah, I mean charges may be coming because a lot of them sun men was down here wilding out. But yeah, everybody if shaking. Those, if any of those guys made some money in the interim, they made you know like a fortune or something, or they became famous. Game over. Yeah. The, uh, statutes of limitation drops wouldn't have applied retroactively if they're. Yeah. If they were committed in 1997 and there were statutes of limitations, they would apply. So no, oh, no, that's not how it's been working. They've been they've been dropping it, and people have been getting sued on stuff that happened 40 years ago. That's how it's been going down. Well, sued in uh, a, a civil court is different than criminal charges. Well, depends upon how much money you got. And listen, if they charge you, they charge you. Like they use them. Actually, DNA. I've seen I've seen some I've seen some criminal. I think they've they've been doing criminal charges. Yeah, they, if, criminal charges. if they yeah. find out you raped somebody or killed somebody back in fucking eighteen forty two, man, they gonna fucking charge your ass. Yeah, you still There's want to no go. statute of limitations on murder, and there never has been. Yeah, yeah, no, but they've been just doing it with uh, doing it with rape now too. Well. Anyway, man, um, so these white women are going to get the blame for whatever happens, whatever the fallout is, because they greenlit the um, 
the Freaknik documentary that the black people came and begged him to make. And now they're going to fucking get dragged for it. God, it sucks to be a white man. <laughs> I'm so glad. Listen, I'm glad I'm, I'm glad I'm not a glider. Being a glider must suck, man. I mean, a lot, lot of like, pressure. <laughs> a lot of pressure. Yeah, it's got to fucking suck, man. Like, no matter what you do, some people are going to fucking complain. No matter what you do, there's no way out of it. It must just suck. And it's getting worse too by the day too. Exactly, it's getting worse. <laughs> yeah. Like damn, we 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 on y'all head. <laughs> we and you, man. We giving y'all the work, man. Oh, man. Your act, the the gliders can't win. If these two white women made a a spring break with all white women. Some people be mad too. Why you <laughs> yeah. about yeah, right. Why, why didn't you make yeah, why didn't you make anything about freak nip, you know? Yeah, yeah. Racist. Yeah, racist. We had well, freak nip. They would try to say that the white people stole stole their little thing from freak nip or some shit. Like yeah. they said, um living single, no friends stole living single was friends before friends or some shit they were saying. Yeah, it's too much shit like that. Yeah, like friends stole their plot from living single and shit. No, he's gonna fucking crazy. They can't win. They can't win. Yeah, I, I tell you the one way you can win. I know a way you can if you can win um in a blowout. If you <laughs> stay the fuck away from it. <laughs> okay, so I the uh statutes yeah. of limitation in Georgia is fifteen years. But the article I'm looking at says that if it involves uh, DNA, they're extending that that uh, statute of limitations by a bill in the in 2020. Mm. Wow! So you can get charged for something that happened that they saw if they collected DNA. Oh yeah, yeah, they would have had to collect DNA. She would have had to get a kit done. Oh yeah, nah, them them whores wasn't getting no kids done. They was getting raped and they was hitting the streets right after that, man. Yeah, they wasn't they wasn't gonna get fucking kit. Get right back yeah. to the streets. Yeah. This is um let's see. But if uh, they had a uh, child out of it, then there's DNA. Oh, okay. So yeah, your man getting locked up, man. Yeah, so let's see. London, man. London is a big hubbub about this, man. Um, London people are very upset. London, this um, where, where did it just go? The fucking kid, where did it go? Here, oh, this is another one. Shit, hey, 